Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, your tech lead and partner at Westfold. And last week, we went to Vue.js Vite, the most exciting thing that I've seen since sliced bread. Today, I'm going to take one step back and just a simple introduction on how to put Vue.js into your application. Now, instead of the back-end, front-end kind of Vue.js, what I am doing right is I will be installing Vue.js on a existing V2 framework website and actually taking advantage of Vue.js at its best, which is basically adding in front-end interactions very quickly and very efficiently. Now, previous to us doing this kind of stuff, right, we would have to use jQuery and integrate what we call DOM manipulations, basically looking for an element, pulling it out, changing it. I think Vue.js still works best when you want a heavy amount of interactions on a particular page. And that is the most amount of economic value when you're building an application. So I'm not talking about all the sliding stuff, all the dashboards that are built, but imagine a page where you need some form of interaction. Vue.js handles this extremely well when it comes to uh, rendering rows, when it comes to um, taking imports, manipulating data, Vue.js is perfect. So I think this is really interesting and we just have a very good example which I introduced a couple of videos ago which is the Chefco example. So let's just hop straight to it. Is, uh, I've got this client which I'm helping out in COVID-19 and they want to do online deliveries. Uh, so. One of the big problems is once you select this and I want to give a price of the deal and I don't even want to display the price like uh, I want to just maybe make the price appear over there. So let's go into Vue.js. I apologize if you can't see the full screen here on the pages, but uh, let's go into the view and I'm creating this. Okay, and I've got ID item and quantity and the price of the item. So, um, so what I'm going to do is put a column here, say your total price, your total is some amount, okay, and I'm going to make that bold. So obviously the price is determined by this, so I'm going to reload that. The total is blah blah price and if i change this seven dollars i should be 210. so what's a good way of doing it if i use jquery right i would have to watch this on change this on change that and then that will have um this will change i don't want to do that it's very time consuming very tiring so what i like to do right is actually change the whole thing so okay i like this main here so let's use vue.js okay so uh, what I'm going to do right is actually add the program to add Vue.js to this page. So what I'm going to do right is I'm going to use this code here, register JS file. Okay, I think it's position head. Uh, position head position. What I've done here, register JS file. I've inserted the CDN because we don't want to bother about assets. Why not just use a CDN? So much easier. And I put the position as this dot position head, meaning that if you check the code on the top of the page, right, it will appear at the top because we want that actually happening right on top. Uh, okay, somewhere in here in the header. Okay, so that our CDN is now working and it's loading uh, Vue.js. And then the last thing I like to do, right, is actually add the thing over here. So I love doing my Vue.js in PHP. <laughs> now, a lot of people ask like, why would I do that? Why don't I do a, um, some sort of web, uh, what do you call? Uh, oops. Let's call it JS. Not consistent. Okay, so it's var um, app equals new view bracket something like that. 
Okay, so that's the object, and the uh, view object has the element, uh, and I'm going to call it name, because I'm calling it this one here. Okay, now sometimes I'll pause the video and actually go and check something out, because I don't want you guys feeling bored as I try to remember something or debug something. Uh, and then I have uh, I think data, right? And let's call this message. I love this uh, to do this just to check that everything's working. Okay, and close the JS and this register JS. JS. Okay, so if everything works. This should fire up and I should see message being uh, transposed or edited. Let's see what happens. Uh, oops, nope, some problem there. Let's take a look at what happened. No, da, 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 da. Cannot find element main. Okay. okay. So what I did was just added this hex over there. That means element message is there. So that's great. That means we started working uh, started actually uh, running the Vue.js code here. So the easiest thing I can do right here is that we have our variable here. So let's just get rid of this and call it total. Okay, and put that zero. Okay, and we'll use a computer. I think it's a bracket. Was it a thing? Just give me a. I can't remember that. But anyway, let's add some variables in there. So we have uh, item price, and we have uh, quantity, right? And then we return uh, what do you call them? computer is. Uh, this dot item price multiplied by this dot quantity. Got to watch out for all the definitions. So this dot total equals to this. After this, I'll start changing it into um, the floats and all that kind of stuff. But for now, let's just leave that. Let's do some transformations here. So this should be uh, total, and then we're gonna start adding some uh, V model. So I love V model. V model just so easy to use. So V model. Let's call this uh, item price. And this is item quantity. Actually, that's not really item price. This item. Yeah, that is quantity. Okay, and I just love putting this this in there. This helps you read everything as you're working on it. Oop. Computed. Okay, and then maybe it's a function inside. So total, this is gonna go in here. Okay, I'm gonna reload that. And there you go, the transformations of zero, zero, zero. Let's do some, that's 100, that's two. Okay, those things are changing. My total is not changing. Okay, so now we're going to look at why isn't our total changing when we are running computed. What I'm going to do is let's add some stuff to transform the variables. Because, you know, so I'm going to pass the float this and I guess pass int. Okay, so that should do the trick. Now that total is the valuation total. So if you really want to, you just have to return that. So I'm going to return total uh, over here. Okay, it's the same name as the function. 
on the computer. So just run that. Get rid of this. Okay, so we got 100 and 1. Whoa. So uh, that wasn't working, now it's working. So what happened was that I had a variable set up here and the system was looking at this variable and now we have the total. So that's what's happened. Now obviously we just want to make sure that uh, you can't submit that, uh, but I will use PHP to handle this. Uh, that's it guys, this is a fully changeable uh, Vue.js calculator that calculates the price. So you can go up here and you can change anything. Now it's zero and I can change 700, whatever that is. Okay, and then once you're done, just get rid of everything else. Put in the price. Okay, add some formatting. You're done. So if I choose, let's say I want to have one of these, whoops, 100. Okay. Now, of course, sometimes you just want to fix some of this stuff. So you can say, uh, sometimes you just kind of remember that quick Google check to get you that. There you go, quantity, and that. So there's no way. Let's say we reload the page, right? There's no way that you will not be able to set anything. So you go like, oh. oh, this one's already set to one actually. There you go, guys. That's how you can put Vue.js in a form. This is a very simple example. Um, but once you've done this, right, the world's your oyster, the calculations can be all input into everything. Okay, have a good day. And um, this is Lionel Yo, the tech lead. And that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.